I feel like there's a lot to unpack and I don't think we can get through all of it in just this sitting, but it's a good place to start. I know what it feels like to be hated and like you can't get your thought out. You say one thing, it's twisted. You say another thing and like you can't get the whole thing out. Genius that she's been quiet, like brilliant because now she gets to say it all at once. You know, is there anything we didn't cover? Were you able to get your entire story and your whole voice out today? Let me show you my hotel breakfast. Multi-grain bagel, side of avocado. Cheaper than getting avocado toast. Egg white omelet, chicken sausage, Dijon, roasted potatoes, yay. Mmm. look at my view. couldn't decide between the avocado toast and an omelet and I didn't want to like over order and be gluttonous so I ordered a multi-grain bagel and a side of avocado more economical and I still got what I wanted mm. what happened was I mentioned the reality reckoning and I thought reality stars were exploited without being compensated reality stars are the stepchildren, the losers, the mules, the pack horses, the ones that the entertainment industry is going to rely on right now to carry the water and do the heavy lifting when real stars, real A-list Hollywood is on strike. We are exposing ourselves, our families, our lives. Look at Raquel having an affair. Her life is pretty much ruined and at what price? Reality television exploits affairs, bankruptcy, falling off the wagon, not really having what you say you have. And then I just mentioned her as an example and then her publicist reached out to me and wanted to talk and I never watched the show. I recently watched the reunion, but I was aware of the show because it was everywhere and I was always thinking, what is the big deal? They're all cheating, they're all drunk. Isn't that what the show is supposed to be about? And so your talent is doing what they're paid to do and then somehow the boomerang snapped back on this girl and I know that she did wrong things. I mean, who hasn't? I'm not belittling that, she can talk about that, but it just felt to me like it was a bizarre caning, stoning, like hanging of this girl. So this is gonna be very interesting and I'm prepared. that I know from Housewives, the producers get, they, they, you're built up, you're knocked down, and then the producers get you to want to come back to the show to clear your name. And I gather that that's one of the reasons why they promoted an emotionally abusive atmosphere for Rachel and then today are going to, and then, and then wanted her to come back to clear her name. It's just a vicious cycle. So new shows have to, there's just like a whole system, the whole system needs to be corrected. It just it's hard because it's an environment that rewards drug use and sexual exploitation. And it's such a toxic society that it's been going on for three years. So it's sort of like saying after Me Too, how do you get men to not look at women's boobs and comment on them at the office? It's called, there has to be like learned new behavior and things that are acceptable and they're not acceptable. And there are shows that are entertaining without being abusive, but it's going to be, there's gonna, that's why it's called a reckoning, because it is a reckoning. I did not expect it to go this way. I thought I was just saying something off the cuff. I just said a comment, like out of nowhere. It wasn't planned, I didn't even think about it. I had a thought and I put it to my mouth and it exploded and here we are. So Juliet just said, just left Rachel, she's in a great place and excited. So you hadn't seen her till this morning. Correct. Okay, so this is Kendall. She produces the podcast. Now, I know you're gonna think I'm nuts, but you already thought I was nuts. This is an herbal wrap that has this fuzzy blanket on top. You can put them in the microwave, no problem. Just don't burn them, because then you're like burning the herbs inside, and you probably could do it like two and a half minutes and escalate it. It's my life. It's my life, I travel with it. I ask them for a microwave in a hotel. It's my life. You sleep like the dead. It, it is so intense and it is so healing and it is a game changer. 
did they edit it to kind of be this way? Like, I want to know the real truth. And she hasn't been able to, like, tell her truth yet. Never. Never. Interesting. Because, like, you try to give her the chance that it's, like, in a hot seat. Yeah. It's, like, in, yeah, with agenda. And I think someone like you, she may feel more comfortable with. It's going to be explosive. I want to take a minute to thank the sponsors of today's episode, BetterHelp. I love this. And I know from personal experience that finding a therapist can be hard. With BetterHelp, it is so much easier. Get matched with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And it's a sign of the times now to make this way more efficient and make it work for you. All you have to do is fill out a simple questionnaire, get a personalized therapist match, then schedule a weekly session. You can choose to do it over the phone or through video or online chat. So it's your choice. BetterHelp makes therapy more affordable and more accessible, which I think is so important. Betterhelp.com slash Bethany Frankel to get 10% off your first month. If your therapist isn't the right fit, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network or anything like that. So if you're struggling, please try to get better help. Click the link in my description or visit betterhelp.com slash Bethany Frankel. Genius that she's been quiet, like brilliant. Cause now she gets to say it all at once versus like, it's kind of what I did on the podcast. Like I just wanted to say the whole thing versus like piecemeal. And then a press takes part of it and then they twist it. So that's what's been happening to her. I'm gonna tell her that from the beginning before to like set the tone. To be like, I understand. Just today is 10 headlines. Do you want like a tray for that? Just see if nope. that would have So that's everything for the interview. That bag you can take. Okay. I'll come get you. Thank you. Great makeup artist. A woman who can do hair and makeup is a very rare breed. And do both well. This is one of the only I've ever met. She's wonderful. We gotta give her we gotta give her a shout out. Really excellent. Do you get even more dehydrated here because you already are at the time dehydrated? Yes. yes. Oh, it's the worst. What hydration package do you use? There's only one that's good. It's called LMNT. Oh yeah, like no sugar. No, it's not that. And maybe it is no sugar. It's just known by like doctors and like legitimate, not it's the best one. If you don't like the taste of salt, then you probably don't like all this stuff. We're going to all have a strawberry when, when we get done with this. Chocolate covered strawberries for everyone. Yeah. I love that. It's so cute that you brought those. I love this hotel. Look at this, like, cacti. Thank you. I'm walking into the suite while we're doing this podcast. Whoa. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Wow, this is stunning. You guys, whoa. Wow. That is super fancy. Look at you guys. Wow, I just feel so major. Look at the backyard. Oh my God, this is amazing. You guys really outdid yourselves. I am shook. Oh my God, where'd you get all this stuff? What? Oh my God, this is crazy. What is, this is nothing. That's okay. Oh my God. Wow. This is one of the nicest hotels I've seen. So we are about ready to go. I'm just prepping all my notes. There's a lot of misconception about who I am. Um, there's a lot of blanks that have been filled in for me. And there's been a lot of vitriol towards me um, that I, I feel like is justified in a way, but also I want to share my side of the story. I think there's more to it than just a simple black and white situation. Bethany's in a romper too? Uh-huh, a navy one. She's gonna love that you're in a romper. Yay! <laughs> there's Raquel, Rachel, we're about to find out. Okay, welcome, you look beautiful. We're both in rompers. Lighting isn't good here, but romper life. I just want to say thank you for trusting me. I mean, I give you a lot of credit for really staying quiet. It's very difficult to do that. When you don't know what to do, sit still, and you did sit still. Is there anything we didn't cover? Were you able to get your entire story and your whole voice out today? 
Um, I think that whatever we didn't get to, which there's so much that goes on behind the scenes and what happens internally even that... Um, Save it for your podcast. Exactly. I could have done this anywhere, but I think you made, I honestly objectively think you made the right choice. You would have been on Good Morning America for seven minutes and you wouldn't have gotten your thought out and, and you would have been like catching your breath. That was really great. She was fragile but strong and loving and you could tell that she just wanted to like get her voice out and it was longer than expected because it wasn't going to be something rushed and twisted and she definitely has remorse. She definitely is aware that no one should be treated this way despite her actions and it was like it just was really it was really meaningful to me. I'm glad I came. I, I'm glad I flew to Arizona and it went it went perfectly. I did my research. I, I feel good about it. I feel like I helped someone use their voice as a woman, as a young woman who could be my daughter and start a new chapter. I feel like I helped her literally to start a new chapter and be like a person that values herself and is valued. So I'm really happy. Thank you guys for watching. It was crazy. So amazing. All right. Um, thank Same. you. You oh did great. God, you guys course. did such a great job. we talk about that crazy interview with Rachel? Wow, I had no idea how crazy that was going to be. I knew it would be interesting and I actually took a personal interest in the topic. Just a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and everyone has so personally invested in how it should have gone and you know, I should have watched 120 episodes of Vanderpump Rules, which is really not what the interview was about. And everybody, of course, cut it on it so much better. People barking the loudest are the ones that really don't know anything. For some of the smaller creators do know some details, but it's, it's amazing how fascinated everybody is by this topic. There's just something about it. Every decade, some scandal comes out and it just hits and everybody is really invested. I think it brings out a lot of people's own stuff, their own affairs, their own lives, and certainly no one's perfect. Rachel's happy because she wanted her voice to be heard and she's reading the positive comments and she does regret a lot of her actions. There's a lot to come, a lot that I can't wait to share with you. There's a lot cooking and I'm really excited, but I thank you all so much. I thank you for all the love. And you know what? I thank you for the hate too, because it's been successful for so many of you also. It's so amazing that so many of you are so invested in the overall topic. We did exactly what we wanted to do and we're really happy. So thank you so much.